welcome back to my channel I'm so excited because this is like the first like makeup tutorial that I've done in a little while you know and I really wanted this tutorial to be about like glowy skin like that natural summer glow you know what I mean for those of us that have oily combination skin and then I included some nice bonuses for this cute eye look that I'm wearing today and uh, yeah this is gonna be a nice little like semi chatty makeup tutorial so get ready if you got a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, some water, you know, sit down, hang out with me, and let's do our makeup together. Or you could just watch me do mine. <laughs> um, if you're not subscribed to my channel and you like beauty videos, tutorials sometimes, hauls, makeup reviews, all that jazz, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I upload Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so I know you're bound to find something on my channel that you like. For all my oldie but goodie subbies, hey boo, love you, it's good to see you back again, and uh, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, we always gotta start off with primer, right? Now with me, I'm oily combination, so my T-zone is where I get super oily, and the rest of my face is pretty normal slash dry depending on what time of year it is so for my oily parts of my face I'm gonna use the elf uh, HD mattifying balm I freaking love this stuff and I like to take like a damp beauty sponge just kind of pat it in here get it on and then I just go in like this and I kind of smooth it and push it in at the same time. You really want to make sure that you also get like your nose, the size of your nose, if you're oily in those areas, like me. Now you definitely want to allow yourself some time to like let that soak in, right? So while that's soaking in, I'm going to take the Milani uh, Prime Light Face Primer. Now honey, if you want to glow, this is the thing to make you glow. And I just love, like, it's just so subtle. It's so nice. You know what, you guys? I haven't actually used this foundation, the um, Urban Decay Naked Skin, in a while. And I've noticed that since I haven't been in the sun as much, my complexion has lightened up a little bit. So I'm like, okay. And let's bring this out but this is really nice because it just looks like skin and it's got about medium coverage if I remember as well you can definitely like build it up but I don't have too much to cover today my skin is behaving itself um, so let's just go ahead and dab that on so I'm curious I don't think there's a lot of you guys that watch my channel that are um, going back to school but would you guys like me to do a back to school kind of tutorial, like simple makeup? Let me know in the comments. I am more than down to do that for you guys. I just like don't really know, <laughs> you know, if you guys are into that or if you guys are just mostly like, you know, working moms or working young working people, older working people. Because if that's the case, I'm also down to do a corporate work kind of look, you know? Ooh, so you know what? I haven't used this Pure Cosmetics concealer in a while too. I'm like going back to some products that I love in like the springtime. This one is also super natural and I like the doe foot applicator that it has. And like you can see the product in there which is so nice because I mean, you know when you're running low, like you wanna be able to check that out, right? And something that I've learned you guys is if you're somebody like me that's got those like wrinkles or natural fold under the eyes, they're not wrinkles because I've had them my whole life, um, definitely put less concealer there because then you won't really have to worry so much about creasing. So it's definitely more of like a brighter under eye look, but I don't mind that. I think it looks kind of nice. Um, moving on, we got to set the under eyes. So I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me, which I did a review on recently. You guys should know it does oxidize like for long term wear. At the end of the day, it definitely looks more pinky. So if you're not into that, just you know, be aware. I'm taking this ooh, Kat Von D setting powder 
and I'm just lightly tapping it today. I'm not baking. But it does give a really nice finish that I just love. It's like smooth under eyes. So I'm getting ready, you guys, to move across the country. Some of you guys may know I live on the West Coast. I live in California. And um, I'm getting ready to move to Vermont, which will be a totally different, like, weather kind of situation for me. So I want to know, those of you guys that live in really cold weather, I need some tips, you know, other than like buy warmer clothes, like things that the average person wouldn't really think about, about living, you know, in that kind of climate. Because I think it'd be interesting and it'd be cool to get like some advice from you guys. Like, you know, during the winters, for those of you guys that deal with like intense winters, when is like a really good time? Like what can you do during the winters to like keep yourself from getting bored? You know what I mean? That under eye is looking so smooth. Um, and then for the rest of my face, I'm still on that Lancome Translucence Kick. It just is so beautiful to me. I just go in with my Real Techniques little brush and I kind of swirl it around there Tap off the excess. There's a lot of excess. I, <laughs> I went a little ham. <laughs> and then I just kind of like dot it around and then use circular motions to buff it in. What I love about this is it just gives such a nice finish. Like I just can't get over it. Okay, so now that my face is set, I'm gonna move over to the eyes really quickly before I finish off the rest of my face. I'm gonna go in with this, the Smashbox 24 Hour uh, Photo Finish Eye Primer. I love this one because it just really makes your like eyeshadow stay on all day. So if you have oily lids, this is so nice for you, I promise you will not regret it. And then I always set that with a flush toned uh, shadow. This is Low Blow from the Urban Decay uh, Naked Heat Palette. So Low Blow is like a really nice neutral kind of shade for me personally. If you're lighter than me, then you know, you can use another color. Like I told you guys, I did go to Gen Beauty and that was so nice. I got to meet so many other creators and it was just nice because I feel like part of what we do it's kind of like a bit of a lonely kind of profession, you know? I mean, we're working all the time and we constantly feel pressured to create more content. So it was so nice to be able to take a break from that and meet other people that do what I do and are really passionate about it. Okay, so for the transition, I'm going in with He Devil. I haven't used this one as a transition yet, so this is fun. I like it because it's like, hella vibrant, you know? I feel like today I kind of want to go for like something really colorful. What do you guys think? I go through phases. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I want to do something more natural. And sometimes I'm like, color! This year, you guys, I turned 30, the big 3-0, and I just am kind of at a loss as for what I want to do for my birthday. Um, it's been a while since I've done like a huge birthday celebration. And honestly, I, I don't know if I could do something like that if I'm up for it because I'm just planning as like a lot, you know what I mean? It's, it really is. I just kind of want to do something chill because I've been working so much lately. I want to like relax and not do like a crazy kind of party. I did love, uh, I was watching Jackie Ina's snaps and she recently turned 30 and she had like this big birthday. It was amazing, like she had African dancers there and it was bomb. Uh, real quick, I'm using the Nude Sticks eye color in uh, Queen Olive, which is super, super pretty. I'm feeling this one. It stands out so well. And the stick is like really, really creamy. So back to Jackie, you know, it was like super cool watching that. And I almost didn't even know that we were the same age, you know, like by a couple months. Um, I thought that was really cool. I was like, oh snap. In my mind, I just thought she seemed a lot older than me, you know, maybe because she acts older. I don't know. This is like a really simple eye look, you guys. That's what I'm just into because I feel like that's what you're most likely to wear, you know? 
Okay, so you see how nice and like bright that is? It's so freaking cute. I love, love that pencil. I feel like I'm really feeling like greens, like that's all I wanna wear on my eyes just cause they like really make them pop. Um, so we're gonna smoke this out just a little bit. I'm gonna go into the color um, ashes right here and I'm gonna take that same little blending brush, go into that and I'm just kind of gonna smoke the outer portion only. So we're just keeping it right on the edge. You might like push it in just a little bit to the middle but it's just for blending purposes and I'm also using circular motions so now I'm gonna take the Jouer uh, eyeliner it's called their slim cream and I'm gonna line the outer edges and then I'm kind of gonna use a like smoker smudger brush to smoke it out I gotta get my L'Oreal uh, voluminous lash and I'm gonna put this on for this eye and then I'm gonna finish up the liner on the other eye and now I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite mascaras the voluminous lash paradise from L'Oreal and I mentioned this in my recent recent favorites video if you guys saw that I just love it so much I mean I don't know like I said it just like really makes me feel confident to be able to just wear you know just mascara alone it's really really a great product and I'm gonna go pop on some lashes real quick I'm going to use the kiss midnight lashes and I'll be right back so now I'm ready for some cream products because I gotta get my face snatched if you know what I mean so I'm gonna use this new Milani contour highlight stick and I just bought this today I'm really excited because this cream stick looks so my shade um, I'm gonna add it to my temple areas and then cut my cheeks, make a cut, snatched, you know what I mean. I like it because this stick is like super precise. I'm also gonna switch to a cleaner beauty blender. Ooh, this also blends really nice. I'm actually really surprised. So I feel like that was like super subtle. I like the contour. It just blends really naturally. And now I gotta go over that with the Black Radiance Contour Kit in this shade right here. It's just the, the contour shade, whatever. <laughs> um, but this is really, really nice and I find that it does not irritate my sensitive skin whatsoever. And of course we gotta try the opposite side, this little highlight. When I swatched it on my hands at Gen Beauty, it looked so nice. I'm just hoping it looks the same. And you can definitely, like, you see how nice that is? I really wanted more of, like, a strong highlight. It looks really nice. Going in with my Jouer that I'm so in love with. So you just want to add just a little bit. And then for blush, um, I've also got another Milani product. This is the Color Harmony Bronze Burst. And this also comes with a lovely highlighting shade, but I'm just gonna stick to the blushes. So I'm just gonna like swirl it around in all three because they just all look so nice. So I'm gonna make sure that this look all melts together and I just love this setting spray so much. I feel like it is just like, it gives you that luminosity that you need but it doesn't make you oily. If you're somebody that is oily, you're just like glow. <laughs> So I brought you guys in just a little bit closer uh, because I wanted to do my lips and I wanted you guys to see these colors that I'm going to use. The first one is from Pure Cosmetics and it's their On Point Lip Liner and it goes on so freaking smooth. And you can like sharpen it, you know, so it's really nice. It comes with its own sharpener. Now I'm going in with the Urban Decay. Uh, this is their Scorched Metallic Lipstick and it's from the Naked Heat Collection and this is honestly one of my favorite shades because I feel like it's super subtle. But like you don't look crazy. You can go out, you know, and like still look cute in this. Now that I'm done, it kind of looks like some Rihanna Wild Thoughts vibes, huh? I love it. Now, this is the final look for this sexy AF. 
uh, makeup and you know it is definitely dewy but not oily you know we got our oily zones in check and I feel like it's so funny I didn't plan to do like a Rihanna wild thoughts inspired look but I feel like this is probably the more wearable version of it <laughs> um, but let me know what you guys think down below in the comments and if you liked this look and the tutorial please give this a thumbs up as well always I'm looking for some of your suggestions for videos so put those down in the comments for me and I love you guys hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one bye